Hello, my name is Joey8010 for uh, prismli.com. Uh, today's video is going to be about how powerful is an UV5R radio actually is. A lot of people speculation it comes across as a 5 watt radio. My group uses it for GMRS, GMRS uh, communications. We have our own repeater on Long Island that is the only one that is free if you're in uh, I guess southern Connecticut on the shore of Connecticut or even on the eastern side of uh, New Jersey you would most likely hit us with um, with a mobile unit full quieting or definitely a base unit uh, with no problem whatsoever and with an HT probably a little difficult however we have uh, UV5R radios here let me show you what we're testing out here it's a, a UV5R, and I have it connected to a converter, and, uh, and that converter goes to the actual power meter, which is, this happens to be a YS500 UC power meter, and then gets connected to my outside antenna, which is a Comet 712. Uh, it's like 9.8 dB gain antenna. That's unrelated to this test. Just telling you what it is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to phase it, we're going to see how much power the uh, this I have seven of these radios, so I have another two here. We'll test each one of them out, and I have them labeled as radios, and I have I have a bunch more over here. So I can zoom this in here for you. So I got a, I got a couple more over here that we need to test as well. So. Um, we as a group we like to have many m multiple radios for our uh, for our um, group so let's see how uh, one radio pans out so we use we are on a uh, we're, we're using um, well, GMRS channel 5 but in the repeater side of it so you would have to you can listen in on GMRS channel 5 if you wish um, so anyway we're going to be on GMRS channel 1 right now um, let me move this around so I can show you. So GMRS channel 1 is the top frequency here. And we're going to uh, calibrate it first. So we have a calibration knob that we go here. And we calibrate this to, so it's, you know, the needle is correct on the, on the device. So that's calibrated. Then we move it to power. And since this radio was rated for 5 watts, but I've done some preliminary testing already, and we're going to key up, we're using a 4 watt um, scale, and we're going to do power. And it looks like it's just about 3 watts on GMRS channel 1. Um, and this antenna is only a GMRS antenna, so I cannot test, uh, you know, 2 meter or 440 or 70 centimeters um, on this because the antenna will, will not allow it. It's specifically a GMRS antenna. Um, so uh, let's see what the SWRs are. The SWRs on this is 1.2.5, so 1 colon 2.5, so that's not bad. That's almost one one point three SWRs. Uh, that's not bad for this antenna and an HT. Think about it. You know, um, let's just calibrate one more time just to make sure we're on this. Yep, we're on the nose. And I have another meter here. I have a uh, SX um, six hundred as well that we can use to do some testing and see how the see if it does the same amount of power. I happen to like my Yaesu power meter. It's pretty darn accurate. Um, but we will use another one. Let's see something. Okay, so let's just, uh, we calibrated it again. We're right on mark. Power. Oh, this time we're doing closer to four. But 3.9 watts. Remember, now I'm using a battery. And th this battery is fully charged. Just took it off the charger. So do yeah, it looks like 3.9, almost 4 watts on GMRS channel 1. Now let's go up to GMRS channel 2. Sometimes the frequency changes. GMRS 3. Well actually, sometimes the frequency changes in terms of wattage. GMRS 5, 6, 
seven, all seem about the same. Eight. So all close to about four watts. That's not bad. That's actually pretty impressive. That's this this particular radio. This is radio number seven. I just bought this. Um, so let's go to another radio. That's, GMS, uh, that's uh, radio number seven. As I have it listed here. GMS seven. So now we're going to go to uh, uh, radio. I'm uh, GMS seven. Radio seven. Now we go to uh, radio five. We'll see how that one pans out. Just to see if it makes a difference. I got a bunch, but we just want to see a basic. And I have a one of that that radio seven is the newest one I just received like a week ago. Not even four days ago. All right, so let's uh, let's go to GMRS one. Let's calibrate because each radio is different. See, this one's way off, so we gotta go. There we go. Power. Wow, that's four watts on the nose. This looks like it's a little bit more, right? Doesn't it? That's pretty impressive, actually. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's great. <sighs> that's four watts pegged. Let me move it to a 20 watt scale and see what it says. Yeah, that's, uh, that's four watts on the nose. And this one I got about a year ago. Not even, maybe eight months ago. This is a different. This is the same thing, same radio. It's about Baofeng UV five R. But each, you know, each transmitter and each radio is different. Wow, just by shaking the wire, really? Oh yeah, that's right. Duh, I'm on the twenty watt scale. Seems like it's doing better. It's almost five watts now. Is that possible? Now four on the nose on the twenty watt scale. Yeah, we're doing. That's impressive. So let me go to. Uh, let me go to the one of the first radios that I had that's like three years old. Let's see how that one does. That would be an interesting, interesting test, I would think. Yeah, we have Radio 1 and Radio 2. These are my... Radio 1 I got like three years ago. And Radio 2 I got uh, maybe like six months later. So this is Radio 1. So this is one of the first ones. This is the one that I actually did the repair on, the microphone repair. If you saw that video on the channel. So this is Radio 1. So let's... GMS one, let's calibrate. And power. Four watts. That's impressive. Let's go to GMRS two. Three. Four. Wow. So we're safe to say that the Baofang UV five R puts out 4 watts steady on GMRS. That's impressive. Now, um, believe it or not, uh, yeah, that's, it. that's good. That's impressive. Um, so, now you know. If you're interested to know, let, you know what? Let's, just for craps and ha-has, let's switch out the, uh, the meter to a different one. Let me just move this like this. Right, disconnect this. I just had the tape there to hold it from uh, moving around. So we disconnect. Let's get a second opinion, right? It's always good to have a second opinion. Don't you agree, guys? So let's get the Yesu out, and we're going to pop in the SX600. And transmit. The SX600 could do uh, HF bands as well as a full 40. And, you know, obviously... Anything in the 65 meter range, which is GMRS, people would say that, you know, GMRS doesn't... Well, that's what it is. 65 meters is GMRS. I don't care what anybody says. It's 65 meters. <laughs> All right, we got a little glare there. Let me see if I can fix that. There we go. Right, much better. Move it like this so you can see all the connections. All, that. all right, so let's take a look. Let's uh, let's go to GMRS channel 1. And calibrate this. So we go to calibrate. 
and it's pegged. Sorry if you see my head. Just gonna make sure this is on the line here. Perfect. He uh, touched the thing. Let's see. All right. Make sure that's calibrated. Perfect. You go to power. GMRS channel one. This is on the five watt scale, and it shows just about just about three watts. This is less than that. It's like two point nine watts on this meter. Now, now this is radio number one. So let me go to radio number seven, which is the original one that I was using. Let's just see if it makes a difference. Because obviously the Yesu meter and this meter are different. <laughs> that's where we that's where we get a second opinion, you know. Okay, now we're on radio seven. This is the radio that I literally just got. Thursday, a couple days ago. Right, so let me calibrate. Okay, power. We're on GMRS 8, and this shows two and a half watts. So I'm not sure what to believe. <laughs> to be honest with you, this is on GMRS 8. Let's go to GMRS 1. Two and a half watts. That's what it's showing on that screen. So the Yesu showed four, and the SX600 showed, shows two and a half. So I would safely say it's between two and a half watts and four. So. So it's safe to say that, <laughs> I mean, out of the two meters that I have, I mean, I'm not sure if I should really accept a two and a half watt output. I mean, granted, it's been steady on the radios that I've been testing um, from the first radio to the seventh radio. I mean, I didn't test all of them, but uh, you know what? Let me go to it's radio seven. Let me go to radio two. We haven't touched that one yet. Let's go to radio two. Put this on. Obviously, all these different connections and everything change, you know, add, you know, loss and stuff like that, like all these different adapters and connectors and all kinds of stuff. But we're just trying to get a, a generalization of what this thing can do. Oh. Yeah, that's a pretty good um, All right, so we go back to GMRS 1. And we calibrate again. Check out power. This one shows three watts. So this radio does a little bit more power. The other one was two and a half. This one does three. So that's GMRS one. Let's go to GMRS eight. Let's go to the extreme. Three watts as well. So two and a half, three watts on the SX six hundred. There's so many different, I guess radios here that who, who knows so I, I guess between two and a half to four watts would be the the um probably the answer that you're probably looking for all right so there you have it um the Baofeng UV5R puts out about two and a half watts on the SX600 and four watts on the Yesu um so let's you know I guess we should average the two maybe three three point three and a quarter watts maybe Three and a half watts um, for uh, the Baofeng UV5R. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, please uh, subscribe. More videos to come. And please visit www.prismli.com for more information. We're the only group on Long Island that has a free repeater system. Um, be sure to check back uh, regularly. We're also on Twitter and Facebook. Um, hope to see you as a subscriber. Take care and have a great day.